Hi there, this is Paula and we're going to use QGIS and I'm going to show you how to get spatial information from a shape to an actual point. So we have the quadrants for Calgary here and I have that master data list that I just turned off and on again. And you can see we had those other shapes as well. And um, e this process would have to happen for each one of those shapes. So I'm just going through um, you know, from the detail, Census Calgary, Alberta Health, FSA, etc. And back to quadrant. I'm going to show you with the quadrant shape file. So we're going to join the quadrant information to each one of these points and I'm just going to show you with the information um, tool, show you exactly what's in the point currently. So as we build this you should see uh, more attributes add to the end. To do this we actually use a geoprocessing tool called intersection and at the top input layer we make sure that it's the point, the attribute that we want to add information to and for the intersection layer we actually take the shape that we want um, the attributes to get inherited from. It runs fairly quickly, it tells you when it's done and it gave us a new intersection layer with that other pink dot. So if we select it with the information tool we'll see that it added a quadrant northeast and the other attribute that came with that layer was whether it was approved or not. And we can decide whether to keep those later. To give that um, file more meaning, we can actually go to Properties and we will actually change the name there. So something, something more meaningful. Um, we will be doing iterations of this because in this case I actually wanted, I think we're dealing with about five shape files that we will get attributes from. And I can just uh, show you a repeat of that process with the ward boundaries now. I'm just showing you with the shape files active, they don't have to be active to use this uh, dialog box. Um, basically you, you fill in the inputs and it, it follows what you, you filled in. We ended up with the latest intersection and I'm just going to turn off the older layers here. So we only have it left. It is currently highlighted and I will use the information tool to check that indeed the information has been added and you can see that there's uh, the counselor's name and it's Ward 5. All the attributes got added to the point which is what we want to do and we will continue that for um, these other shape files which are Alberta Health Local, FSA, Calgary Communities, and Alberta 2016 Census over Calgary. Thank you very much.